Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey everybody. Come on in, come on in, come on in. I hope y'all can hear me. I hope y'all can hear me and hear me well. So I am doing a, uh, I'm trying to uh, just connect both of my channels together. So I am streaming originally on E. Nicole and Company, which is my stationary business that I started in my stationary channel. And I'm also streaming on my channel, Creating with Tech, so which is my creative tutorial-like channel. So I finally figured it out. I want to do my business stuff on e Nicole, and then Creating with Tech is going to be more of uh, tutorials and crafting and all of that jazz. But... I don't know, I may still just end up taking everything over to Creating with Tuck because that's where all my people are. So I hope you all can hear me. My name is Ebony. My friends call me Tuck, um, aka the Unleashed Crafter. And I am a double business owner. So I have Creative with, uh, sorry, E. Nicole and Company, which is my stationary business. And I have my distinct ink business which is my customization business so um if you're new to my channels welcome and if you're not welcome back i'm glad you're here and so today y'all i just i've been doing too much i just need to relax and get it back into what i like to do so i'm cleaning out my little glue cup <laughs> uh, so today i am just doing me pretty much so I'm going to be working on some notepads and it's a mess. I'm going to be working on some notepads. And if y'all are here um, and you see this live, I need to make sure that y'all can hear me because nobody's here yet. But if you catch the replay, you'll see it. So let's see. It's been a minute since I've been live. Um, just had a lot going on. Life, just life and that's all. Uh, let me see. Let me go check here. I was supposed to go to a women's brunch today, and I was just tired, y'all. So I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go. I was just so tired. Um, but I wanted to go, but I was just really tired, I guess. So okay. So y'all can't hear me. Okay, cool. Um, but anyway. Um. Let's see. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I got sick and was in the hospital. Hey, Precious Pieces. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You may see a different logo because I'm actually streaming from my YouTube channel, E. Nicole and Company. So, if you don't mind, uh, if you can go over and subscribe to that channel as well. I'll drop the link in the comments. This is the uh, channel that I'm going to be doing my stationery on. Um, so, yeah. How you been? I'm going to drop it. It's, this is uh, what it is on YouTube. So, today we are making... Um, I'm going to be making some... It's my stationery company. My back is hurt. Ugh, I think I drank too much Kool-Aid. Sometimes when I drink stuff with a lot of dye in it, it thank you, precious pieces. Thank you. Uh, when I drink stuff with a lot of dye in it, it makes my back hurt. I guess my kidneys are crying out. No, don't do that. Um, but anyway, y'all. So I've been working on some stationery, and I'm excited about it. I was supposed to launch yesterday, actually today. I was supposed to lunch today, but I got sick, had to go to the hospital, and it has thrown everything off, like literally. I think I was in the hospital for three days. I had a salivary, salivary infection, and yeah. So, ever since I got out, my time has been off. I've been like a week behind. So, yeah, I've been off. But anyway, today I'm going to be putting together some... Um, I call these keyboard pads, and this is the design. 
So y'all gonna get to see. Oh, and my lighting is horrible, but I ordered me some lights off of Amazon that I seen great reviews on, y'all. And they are cheap. And I'm about to drop the link. Because y'all, if y'all need lighting in your craft or creative space, um, watch the videos on this link, uh, this Amazon. I wish I had Amazon, um, the Amazon where you can get like an affiliate thing. But every time I sign up, I never get it done because I always forget about it. So I ain't even going to bother anymore until I get there, get there. But these are the lights. And if y'all go in and they're LED lights, but if y'all go in and go to the reviews and see these videos these people have posted, y'all will be able to see. I'm going to drop the link in the chat. So, Precious Pieces, what you doing today? Are you crafting? Are you cooking? Everybody's probably asleep right now. <laughs> so, I am going to, so I got to cut these, um, these down. And I'm going to get into making these and we're going to get started. So, that's my cutting table. That's my guillotine cutter, which I'm still struggling with. But anyway... I got it from Bever and I love it, but I think I'm just having user issues. It's user error because when I do my cuts, I'm still trying to learn how to do my cuts. That's what I'm trying to do. Just relax. I'm just like, I wanted to go outside on the front porch um, and just craft on the front porch, but I got a really nosy neighbor. She probably listening right now. And she comes out there and smokes and listens to my whole conversation. So I can't do the cigarette smoke. And I don't want her in my business. She, yeah. But anyway, but it's so pretty outside. Like, I wish I could show y'all. It's really pretty. So I live across this big old field with the, like this electrical stuff. But the field is like, it has so many dandelions and then the geese are over there. It's really pretty out, pretty outside. And the grass is really green. They just cut the grass yesterday. I live in an apartment complex and they just cut the uh, grass yesterday. Okay, so you had a busy day yesterday? Yeah, so you should be relaxing today. So, okay, we're great. Go over to the um, cutting table. I'm gonna put my board, my chipboard on, on the back. So this is the chipboard. I forget which thickness this is, but it's really thick. It's not the flexible one. The flexible ones don't work. They are really you know, floppy. This one is very firm. I can drop the link from Amazon because I get them from Amazon. But I'm getting it together so we can just go over there and cut. And I got to get my glasses because y'all know I can't see nothing at all. Okay, I need to clean them. Okay, so we're going to go over to the cutting table. So, I hope, I hope y'all don't hear a, a double, double echo, but let me use this, this one over here real quick. So that way. And if y'all are watching from Facebook, make sure you allow StreamYard to, um, make sure you allow StreamYard to post your comments because I can't hear on my phone. I don't know if y'all can still hear me, but I'm going to talk loud. But anyway, I'm about to cut this paper real quick. And I hope y'all don't hear it at all. I'm going to mute this one back just in case. But I still got to learn how to do all of this. Okay. So this is my paper. And I am making keyboard pads. And I just want to cut right down the middle. And this is a guillotine cutter that I got off of from, uh, oh, what's it called, uh, Weber. So my issue is, I don't know, I think it's me, but it seems like it's 
a little off, but I really think it's that it's me when cutting this cutting this paper. But I gotta make sure that it gets it's gonna get in the middle. Because it's kind of weird how the blade is. So I gotta kind of line it up in the middle and pray that I get it as even as I can get it. You gotta hear my mouth. Because she she hears birds and goes crazy. Okay. I think that that is down in the middle. It looks like it is. I hope it is because I don't want to have to print these over. Okay. So I'm going to tighten it up. And we're going to pray that it's down in the middle. Give it a little pressure. Oh, I think we did it. Okay. So now, that's two pads right there. Okay, and we can come back to the table and put them together. Okay. So, back to the big, this, this table here. So now I'm about to put these together. I'm about to show y'all. So y'all can see. Ugh. I need a production crew. I know, right? Okay. All right, let me make y'all big. And y'all go in here. I have my window open, y'all. So I'm trying to increase my oxygen. One of the ways they said I could do it is by opening the window. So I got my window open. So I live on a street like a kind of busy street not too busy but i did this so good oh my gosh i got it right okay sorry i get excited but kind of busy but not too busy but anyway this is my keyboard pad so the way it works is it sits in front of your keyboard like this so when you're typing and you know, you're having a busy day. You're trying to stay focused. Hey, ARD. Hey, 755. Hey. So, y'all, I'm streaming from my other channel, Ena Co. So, if y'all can go to Ena Co and subscribe to that channel. So, I started a stationary business. And that's what I'm talking about today, my stationary. So, here is the YouTube channel. If y'all please can go and subscribe to that channel. And I am showing y'all, this is one of my keyboard pads. So you be typing and you need to write notes. Okay, you working, you know, you need to write some notes. And it's just right here. It's not in the way. It won't interfere with your keyboard. You just write your notes. But we're putting together my keyboard pad. So I was supposed to launch today, actually. But because I got sick and was in the hospital, it just threw my life off. But it's okay. But this is the design. It's kind of like a mustard. Thank you. I'm going to show y'all my other ones. I'm going to give y'all um, some of the other ones that I do. But so, yeah, just a little keyboard pad. So let me show y'all before we put that together. Let me show y'all some of I have so many. Um, I'm going to grab these real quick. And I'll come over and show y'all. I probably should have had these ready so y'all could see. I'll just grab a couple of them. Okay. So I'm doing like different types of things because I'm not, I'm a planner person. Well, I'm not really a planner person, but I'm a planner-ish type of person. So this is my dump pad. So when you have a brain dump, I'm feeling good. Um, Seven five five. I'm feeling real good. Thank you. How about yourself? Just uh, thank you, Ard. This is my um, brain dump pad. So like when you're in a meeting or whatever, whatever you just need space to write something on really quick. Um, this one is the brain dump pad, and I'm trying to do them like where they're in collection. So if you want to buy the whole collection, um, this is my notepad. You want to buy the whole collection, and this is the weekly planner. So let me. This is what this looks like. 
and it's undated so whenever you're ready to start you can just start whenever like i noticed with me i feel like i hear an echo hold on y'all So with myself, um, I'm trying to find a daily. Okay, go daily. No, let's go daily. So with myself, like whenever I get a planner, I don't utilize all the things in the planner. Planner, I said planner. I just utilize. Woke up on the right side of the day and have been blessed ever since fam fam how are you i'm doing good ard i know that's right i'm glad to wake up on the right side of the day <laughs> so hey baby giant services been up since 4 a.m i was about to go live but tuck popped up so i'm chilling okay y'all can chill with me anytime anytime so but yeah so i'm not really used to using all the stuff in the planner so i'm just breaking it down so like for this one, this is my weekly task uh, planner, and it's undated. And you can, and it's uh, it's not a bind, it's not a, a coil or, um, it's a it's a pad. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can rip the sheets off and throw them away if you don't want to hold on to all that stuff. So, and this is actually a collection. And so I'm gonna make some keyboard pads for this one as well, and then. Just some different notepads. They're all going to have a full collection, like a full set to them. So, yeah. Yeah, I love making these. These are so fun to make. This is another keyboard pad. But I'm going to do these in all colors. I was just experimenting with colors last night. And I was like, yep, I'm about to do them different colors. And this one I'm going to have to open so y'all can see. So this one is a daily planner for the people that, that live day by day like myself. It's basically a daily planner. And so, you know, you can put what you have for breakfast. You can make a shopping list. Like, this is a day by day thing. Um, so, hey, by you, sugar. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, thank you. Yep, I'm back on the scene. I'm back on the scene. I'm actually streaming from my other channel. E Nicole and Company, and it's my stationary channel, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on, on over there. And then on uh, Creating with Tuck is going to be more crafting and tutorials. I really want to combine the two, but Jesus told me not to. He told me to keep them separate, so I'm listening. But yeah, so this is, but today I'm just streaming because I'm ready to show everybody and tell everybody what I'm doing. So, um, but yeah, this is my daily planner. And so I'm going to be having stickers um like i actually do have my first sticker i'll show y'all and it's just everything that i'm doing y'all know me is motivational um motivational positivity uh faith-based faith-based type of stuff now i want to do designs um mostly it's focused on women but i do want to do designs for men as well and children um but right now i'm just focusing on women and that's because i'm going through this healing thing so but this is one of my stickers that i'm going to be selling and i made this on my ipad and here goes my camera acting crazy but it says no need to get prickly so yeah okay let's get into making this um this, uh, I'm going to show you how I put them together. So I use my, I got me, and I'm going to do, on uh, Creating with Tuck, I'm going to be doing probably later on today. It might just be a recording. But I'm going to do an updated craft room tour because I've gotten some new toys over here that I need to show y'all. Um, so two things that I bought uh, for my stationary business was I got two printers. So I got the Canon g 3720s and i got them from amazon and y'all for some reason they let me do a monthly payment plan so i didn't even have to pay for my front i just made my little payments and got two um which that was cool because i could utilize those other funds for other things um so uh, i print them on that i use the 28 pound paper 
which is hammer meal. It's the one with the little bird on it. Um, the um, mockingbird on it. I use that one. Bright white. And then I design all my designs in Canva. So um, the chipboard I got off of Amazon. And then for each note tablet, it's 50 sheets. Um, and that's with the planners as well. It's 50 sheets, undated sheets. At first, when I started making them, I was doing, um, ARD said, yeah. oh, K. Renee said, hey, K. Renee. K. Renee said, yee. <laughs> I love when ARD does that. <laughs> um, but uh, when I first started making them, I was doing them double-sided. But someone advised me that if I'm going to do rip away planners, to just do them single-sided. So, All right. So when I do these, I just make sure that my paper is aligned. Y'all, I am so proud of myself because when I tell you, Look at that cut. I've been struggling with that um, that that cutter over there, but I guess I done finally learned how to do it. So, okay, so I use these little clamps. I just dump them out. I got these off of Amazon too. But y'all, this is so relaxing. And y'all, this is this is a money maker, another money maker. Y'all can make your own stationery. And maybe you know a task or a, a layout that might work for somebody else. Oops, only that that might work for somebody else that you can design. And I did it all in Canva, and they're real easy to make. So I've always put a clip right here first. I want to make sure that my edges are down, and you want to make sure that your chipboard is even because you want the glue to bond all of that. So. Um, now, I do see some people, they use like boards in there, but I don't, and I just try not to get the glue in on my um, clamps because I want them to, hey, Ruji, hey, Tamika, how y'all doing? So this is my stationary company. Let me drop that, um, let me drop that uh, channel again, y'all. I'm streaming from my other channel, E. Nicole and Company, which is for my stationary business. So if y'all don't mind going over there and subscribing, um, but this is one of my keyboard notepads and it has 50 sheets. Y'all, I love this. Y'all just don't know how I get excited about making these. Okay, so I start with these two first and then this is the glue that I use. PH Neutral PBI, I got it off Amazon. And then this is one of the this is actually from the baby's booty. The, uh, I just used it because I took my rhinestones out and dumped them into the larger one. So I just kept this. Someone, I don't throw away nothing. I'd be saving everything, y'all. And I just put this amount of glue in there. And I am not a girly girl. So I like to work with my hands. And I know I never wear nails. So y'all... I was going back and forth with myself um, because I'm like, I don't want people looking at these man hands. I do have man hands. I ain't gonna lie. I can't even wear bangles because of this part right here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but I work with my hands. My hands are just hard working hands. So I like, I don't like gloves. I just like it like this. So um, if y'all see me touching the glue, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna live. I ain't gonna get cancer or none of it. I'm be all right. So don't worry about it. <laughs> but okay, so all you gotta do is take your brush and I use a silicone brush. I see a lot of people use bristle butt brushes. But the thing about that for me is I like the silicone brush because it makes it more smooth. So you just get about that much on the tip of your brush. And then all you do is just take it and go down the side of it. And hopefully I'm doing this where y'all can see. And when you put the glue on, you just want to make sure that you get that chipboard in there too. Because if you don't, it won't bind to the chipboard. So this is what I do. I do it first like a starter coat. And then when you're putting the glue on, you'll start to see that the notebook is kind of expanding, which is okay. Let it do that because what's happening is that glue is sinking down in there. So... I don't know what they just what I just did or who just did that because I ain't touched that keyboard or that mouse. So I don't even know how that just happened. Uh go back. Okay. 
So yeah, you just want to let the glue get in there. So then what I do is I take my finger and you got to be careful because you don't want it to drip. So when you, when I print, I print 26 sheets. So that way I can tear off the top one if it gets messed up. And then I just rub my finger down like that. And it don't take long to dry. Hey, Ruru, Ruru, I got my hat. I got my hat. Hey, I got my hat. So it's probably been sitting over there in the mailbox, but our mailboxes, they um they took them off the front of our doors and they put them like all in one area. So we don't go check them. We probably check the mail once a month. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Don't nobody want to walk all the way over there to check the mail. If y'all can't send me an email, then I don't need to know. But yeah, we probably check the mail once a month. So we went to check the mail. I was like, who is this package from? And shout, lo and behold, it was from Big Rooster with my hat. So thank you so much for my hat, Ruru. And I'm about to put a ball ball on top of it. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so then y'all, I just take the clips and I just add clips like this making sure now y'all might see me pushing down because i'm just want to make sure that everything is still even so i just add the clips like this and i let it dry for about five minutes maybe not even sometimes i'm impatient sometimes it don't even be that long see this one had that glue in the front so it's kind of sticking so th that first sheet is probably not going to be good which is okay because like I said, I print on both of the printers, I print 26 sheets. So out of 52 sheets, I get four notepads, right? Let me see. One, two, no, two notepads. Two notepads is what I get. Because I cut the paper, so I just cut the paper in half. Um, and it's eight and a half by 11 paper. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm not good at it. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna let that one dry. And by the time I get through putting this one together, that one should be ready for me to add another coat. So I normally do like two coats and then I'll go back in and like spot glue if I need to, but I normally just do two coats. Okay, so for this one, so this one I do see that I kind of miscut it. So what I'm doing is turning it upside down and I got that extra little, I don't know if y'all can see it right here, that extra, I'm going to cut that off later, but I want it to be flushed at the top. So we're good there because it's flush. So I got to tap it like this and then I'll do it like this. So I know it's flushed up there. So I'll start clamping, clamping it down. And when you do this, when I first started doing these, I only had just shared the live. Thank you, Ruru. Hey, Ruru, I'm streaming from my new channel. So for my stationery. So here's the name if you want to go subscribe. I appreciate it. All right. And so right here, y'all got to keep tapping it. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this. I still hear an echo. Put another clamp down here. It's so pretty outside, y'all. I really want to just be on my front porch doing this and having y'all out there hanging with me, but I can't because I know what's going to happen. Cigarette smoke and nosiness. Like, oh, I just wish she was just smoking her house or on the back porch. I don't know. I just feel like you should smoke in your house. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so... This one is flushed and hold on, I see something. I want to make it like this. Let me do this again because if I don't, it's not going to be the way I need it to be. Okay, that's good. That first sheet is going to be coming out because I see it's kind of bent, which is okay. So you always want to print like two extra sheets just in case you have to take the top sheet off. Okay, so now we're ready to glue. Got my glue. And I'm just going in. Doing it like this real quick. And you know what I like about this um, 
these brushes i got these from the beauty supply i like the fact that they have that really flat tip because it makes it real easy to control and spread out so yeah this is all we doing so i've been working on my website i'm gonna show y'all my websites both of them because i gotta get together y'all i have struggled with consistency um because i've allowed life to life so i'm trying to learn how to not let life life so much and be more consistent with my goals and my dreams because i keep praying and looking for results but faith without work is dead right so if i'm praying and looking for results but not putting in the work that i know i'm supposed to be putting in uh oh i got this wrong it ain't gonna happen so y'all yeah, try to learn how to stay consistent i'm really talking to myself but we out here okay thank you for showing up i appreciate you ruru as always as always so yeah when this um stationary business become a multi-million dollar business i'm gonna be reaching out to some of y'all because i'm i believe in keeping it in the family and we got too many talented people in this community i don't need to go outsource to no big companies i got a gang of people in this community can that can all come together and do the same work as a big company i know that and i believe that i got a gang of embroiderers a gang of sewers a gang of printers we don't need no big old million multi-million dollar warehouse we're going to send them jobs out to each individual, get their own jobs, so many jobs, and y'all going to get paid. We're keeping the money in the family. So let's pray on that. Okay, so I'm putting the clamps on this one. And I got to kind of wipe my hands off because they're getting... Yeah, that first sheet got to come off. Um, Because it's, it's not even even. It's okay, though. So I do have a question for y'all. Uh, you got this. <laughs> Thank you, Karenae. I do have a question for y'all. So I'm going to show y'all here in a second. Let me get these on. I'm trying to decide when I do. My son, made he made my head big. He was like, Mom, um, that looked like something that belonged in Target. <laughs> and I was like, it do look like something that belonged in Target. So I'm about to try to see if I can't get my products in Target. Because why not, right? Um, but anyway... I'm trying to decide. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. So, with the planners, right? Let me take this one back out. I probably have to make a new photo for it, but I need y'all's opinion. Should I? So, this, like, like this is the cover um, that I made. Do I, should I put a cover or should I not put a cover and just like have it in the package like this? What do y'all think? Because the cover, sorry, the cover is going to get torn off anyway. But I added the cover because I thought it made it look more nice. Hey, sweet thumb. How are you? How are you? So y'all tell me what y'all think. Should I add a cover or should I put it in? So what did it look like? If I put it in without a cover, it'll just look like this. And maybe I'll put like my logo right here or something. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna do the logo stickers. Um, and then I did this because I want people to see the page. So I did this and then on the other side, I still had the cover. So y'all let me know, cover or no? Because I don't know, I like the cover, but is that team too much? Should I just put it in there like that? We'll see. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Enico and company, is that your product you put on the Amazon link? Um, wait, the Amazon link? Oh, no, let me tell y'all. So the Amazon link that I dropped up there is this. It's a, um, can I share my screen? Hold on. Let me show y'all. Let me share my screen real quick so y'all can see what that Amazon link is for. I thought I did that earlier. My bad, y'all. Okay, so this is the um, 
this is the product i ordered these lights and i was telling everybody real real if you go in there and look at the reviews and then look at some of those videos these lights are really bright because a lot of us crafters and maybe other people too we we be having lighting issues like when we be trying to do our videos and stuff so you get four four foot led shop lights and they plug up they plug up but you can link them all together and they plug up um and uh so you can have them either linked together on one side or you can just set them up how you want to set them up but you get them for 44 uh 99 but it, which with the five dollar coupon you're getting it for 40 dollars. and i thought that wasn't bad at all four feet and they're really bright y'all gotta go look at the videos and the reviews they are really bright let's see do you have a specific machine just for putting your pads together so no i do um hold on let me go back here go back here i'll raise y'all up for a little bit so okay so this machine over here right there that's this machine right here on this table let me show y'all that's this that's my guillotine cutter and i got that from vever and it cuts multiple pages at once and then I'm about to show y'all the other little machine I got from Vever because I like my corners rounded and because I feel like it makes it look more professional. So that's this machine right here or tool. I'm going to say it's a tool. It's not really a machine, but it's a tool. This is this is my corner rounder. Now, I had this one and this was my very first one right here that I got off of Amazon. But this one, if I'm not mistaken, does 400 sheets at one time. So I love this, <laughs> which I'm about to show you how I use it. So let me get this other notepad. I'm going to drop y'all back down real quick so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to set the corner rounder over here. Okay, so this should be ready. I'm going to take these off. And then what I do, so that top sheet is going to be coming off because I had that extra glue on there and it got stuck. So I'm going to show y'all what it's doing to the sheets. That's why you always want to print. Ooh, that one's good and stuck. That's why you always want to print um, extra sheets. And then, like I said, other people, when I see them do this, they use cardboards. But I don't got time for all that. I'd rather just print the extra sheets and tear it off. So I'm gonna actually probably have to go back in here and re-glue this because it didn't get my chipboard. But y'all see it turns white um, when it's binding, but it always it's gonna be clear. But I just took the chipboard off because it's not straight, which is okay because I can still go in there and put another layer of glue on there. So I'm about to make sure it's aligned straight. And then I'm going to go in. Y'all, y'all, if y'all going to make these, y'all are going to have so much fun making these. I'm telling you. And when they come out and you put them in a the packaging, I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm just going to go hit it with another layer. I know I don't have the clamps on them, but I'm going to put them on here in a minute. And the trick is the clamps. You want to use those binding clamps. I see other people use different ones, but I think those are the best because you get more for your money for one and for two they got really strong uh a really strong like pinch to it so make sure i didn't miss nothing hey anita haskins how are you so yep y'all this is my business ina colon company i'm about to show y'all i'm working on my website so i'm gonna show y'all that here here in a second so i'm gonna um Put this down. When I first started doing this, y'all, I was using four uh, Dollar Tree magnet clamps, but I was still getting it. So, and then I just take my finger and rub it on down to get that excess off. So that should be a good bind right there. And so I have on my little junk, junk, you know, sweatpants and stuff. So if y'all see me wipe some on my leg, don't worry about it. That's what they for. Because I don't got no aprons and I ain't got time for napkins. <laughs> I just want to wipe it up. So I just wipe it on my leg or something and wash it later. That's what they for. A little scrap clothing. So I'm just pinching this down. 
but they are really easy to make and it's very relaxing to make them and when you see it um when they're pinched together i'll show y'all you just want to make sure they they're not bulging out because if it's bulging out that means some air is, or something is in between there and it's not gonna the glue's not gonna hold it together so there we go that should hold we're going to let it back dry and come back over here and check on this one this one shouldn't be that bad because i think i got the glue everywhere and all y'all gotta do y'all when the longest part of this is printing i think what i'm about to do is invest in two more printers and then just run one pad on each printer. So then I'll be running four. So this one this is still a little wet, which is good because I've seen that that pad that um, chipboard was pulling up. So I'm about to clip it back down and let it dry a little more. I probably put too much glue. You don't really need a lot. Just like a, a medium to thin, well, yeah, medium to thin coat. Hey, Jesse. I'm like, what kind of glue are you using? Hold on, I'm about to show you real quick. Give me just one second. Ugh. Hold on. I really like it too. Now I have seen people use um I have seen people use what's that stuff called? My Podge. But I didn't want to use my Podge because I was like, I want to use what I see got the most views on um uh, Amazon. The most reviews, positive reviews, that is. All right, I'm about to show you. So there's that. So this is the glue I use. Of course, my camera. There you go. And I got it on Amazon. So, okay. And so when I, like I was saying, you want it to look like this. Once it's dry, you see how they're really pinched together? You want it to look like that. And my camera is out of focus, y'all. I gotta get me a new camera to stream with. Uh, but it's it dries clear. And you wanna make sure it's not on the edges. Um, but yeah, so that's what you wanna do. Now, it was something else I was gonna show y'all and I done forgot, I should've wrote it down. My memory is not what it used to be. Oh, the printers, I was telling y'all about the printers. So that's the only part about it is, I think I got a sheet in here the wrong way. Oh no, that's okay. Um, that's the only thing that takes the long part is the printers. Because you wanna be able to print fast. You wanna be able to print fast, but you want it to be vibrant, right? So I'm using the Kenny, like I said, G, I think it's 3720 or whatever um i'm using those printers um and i'm using them on i created i went in and created my settings it prints a little bit faster but what i do is i start a set and i let it like when i'm because i'm sitting at this desk y'all till about one o'clock in the morning i need to stop doing it but um at night i always print late and i just let it print overnight um and it does unless my internet goes out which i'm having an issue now with my internet um it went out the other day and it's not my new epson 1500 the wi-fi is not working but hopefully i can get it because i really want them to say dang i need to show y'all i really wanted to, we already going on a tour so i can show y'all i really want them to stay um on where i got them now because as y'all can see, I don't have that much room. And I done took over the whole downstairs. And I still don't have enough room. Uh, I'm looking for my email. So I can add this iPad. Okay. So. um, Oh, this might be a little tough. Um, hey, here we go. Right here. All right. I'm about to add this iPad to the stream. Continue with YouTube. There we go. Continue. 
So let me know if y'all hear an echo. For some reason, whenever I add the iPad, I still hear like a small echo, but uh, allow. Um, let me know if y'all hear one. Enter studio and turn to the stage. Hey. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me mute this one. Okay. So I'm about to take y'all. Now, my crap on is still messy. Oh, let me tag Nabbit. Hold on. Let me go here. Um, settings. Back camera. Okay. So, y'all, this is the crap. See how pretty it looks outside? Okay. So let me show y'all these planners. This is my warehouse area over here. First of all, can y'all see? I gotta blow y'all up. Hold on. Okay. Wait, that's the wrong one. Dad, nab it. Okay. Now y'all can see. Okay. So this is what I call my warehouse area. It still needs to work. That's my son, Tool KT, a mechanic. And I'm sad because he's going to be taking it away. Then I have nowhere to set my stalls. So that's my, uh, that's 570. That's a laser printer, $300 laser printer. No, $400 laser printer that I haven't been using in a while, but I got it at a good little $14. But anyway, this is the printer stand. And so I finally get stuff organized. So, these are the two printers that I print on. Dang, can y'all hear me? I hope y'all can hear me. These are the two printers that I print on. And this is like my regular printer, but I use this for stickers. This is my Eco Solvent printer. That's a regular printer. And so I don't know if having them together is not getting off the internet or if it was just that storm we had the other day that took the internet out. But y'all see in my setup? So, yeah, I don't want to take it out, y'all. I still haven't finished that rug. But yeah, this is my inventory of my notepads. It's small, but it'll be big soon. Because, yeah, these are all the ones that I did. Those are my button presses. Y'all, I got one of those. I'm going to do a room tour later. But I just wanted to show y'all my printers and why i don't want to move them right now which i feel like i'm being forced to move them because that one won't connect to the internet so yeah i know right <laughs> as and this is listen this is my so i live in a um i live y'all just walking i'm out of breath hold on let me let the fat girl get caught up let me breathe real quick because I got a drink. I'm hot. That, that took a lot. Okay. This is my downstairs. I live in a three bedroom townhouse apartment. I forget how many square feet it is. But when me and my husband was together, um, I had everything upstairs. We had the master bedroom, right? And I, I outgrew that. So then we ended up separating and um, he moved out. And at that same time, my apartments, they did a whole remodel on the whole entire property. So we had to pack up all our stuff. Y'all see all this stuff. It was like 10 times more, including the upstairs. So all this stuff, they bought these little pies out there, set the pies out there. We had to put all, well, they did all of that. All we just did, had to do was pack it up and get it together. They put all our stuff in the pies, and that's a whole nother story, y'all. They were supposed to clean them out and everything. I was scared because people had bed bugs out here. It was horrible. They weren't even cleaning them out. None of that. It was just, thank God I didn't get no bugs. That's all I had to say. But yeah, they was they was wrong. They were supposed to sanitize, and mm -hmm. people's stuff was coming up missing. Like, like I'm still missing some things. But anyway, because they started, they started taking um girl dad <laughs> they started taking thank you girl dad thank you how are you they started taking like because they started running out of pies because people got so much stuff i don't know what they was thinking these are townhouses 
and they was mixing people's stuff together. So people was missing their stuff. But anyway, um, they did the remodel. So when we moved back in, I was like, I'm going to just give the girls the big room, um, which is the master bedroom. I'll take one of the smaller rooms because I ain't sleep with nobody anyway. I know it's just me. I don't need all that space, but I need all this space. And I got rid of my furniture. Well, I had furniture up until last year. And then I finally got rid of it and took over that area. That area where the printers are is the dining room. This area that I'm in now is the living room. So now I was like, I don't have company anyway. We pretty much are private people. Only people come over my house is my mama, my brother, and the kid's dad. Um, I don't really have, I've never been a company-ish type person, but I'll throw like a barbecue every once in a blue moon or something like that. But I like my space to myself. Um, so I was like, you know what? We don't need, we don't need furniture. We don't have company anyway. And I asked the kids, I was like, do y'all really need a living room? They was like, nah. I was like, okay, say less. I threw away the furniture. Now I got all my stuff over there. So, and it's still not enough room. Like, it's not enough room. But yeah, so this is the whole downstairs. And it's still not enough room. I still need more room. I'm thinking about getting some shelves. Well, I, I'm not going to be here much longer because when this business take off, and I'm making those millions, I'm going to have a house. Now, it ain't going to be a big house because I don't need all that, but it's going to be bigger than this. And it's going to have a garage. I think I'm going to have two craft rooms, though. I really do think I want two craft rooms. Like an outside craft room and an inside craft room. Outside, like when we outside chilling, and I don't feel like dragging all my stuff outside, I'll just have the same setup outside. Like, But like, you know, like maybe a she shed or something like that. So, yeah that's my whole life story in a matter of three minutes but anyway i hear one of the children they they just starting to wake up hold on y'all who's coming down the steps okay this is the shy one so i gotta close the camera hold on hurry up little bug. what are you doing because i'm streaming in the chair Make sure you push it back in. I don't care, girl. Just hurry up. <laughs> She's trying to talk about it. Okay, y'all. Hurry up, love. You can open it, you open That's a crafter's life. Not enough space. Ain't that right, Ruji? Not enough space and not enough space and not enough lighting. That's why I ordered those lights. I'm telling y'all, I'm I may. I may look at my comment at the other on the other channel. Oh, you know what? I don't even have it. Okay, let me go over there. I, I just realized I didn't even have it. Okay, view your channel and come over here. I need to. There we go. I just realized I didn't even have it up, Ruru. Okay, is that your product you put on Amazon link? No, let me go down. I want to send you a t shirt and I want you to put cereal cluckery. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> Hurry up, girl. Is she, yeah. Uh, she said I could open it. Okay. That's dope. I, I got you, Ruru. Cereal. I like that. Put cereal cluckery on it. <laughs> and that same friend. Of, yes, y'all like my shirt? Uh, let me give me my own bias. Y'all see my shirt? Hold on, let me stand up. Don't look at my fast something. But y'all see my shirt? Y'all see my I got a little blingage in there. <laughs> Yeah, so I went to a um I had went to a women's brunch, empowerment brunch, and the the lady that does them, she has a color theme. So this color theme was red, and I dress for comfort. Like if I need to get all dazzled, dazzled, I would, but I really like to be comfortable. So I'm wearing t-shirts and jeans. And if you can't accept me like that, then I don't know what. But I made this shirt because I ain't had no red and I'm not a girly girl. I don't have all that stuff. But I made this shirt cereal and this is the puff vinyl y'all i'm still trying to learn how to master it though but yeah cereal entrepreneur that's because i own two businesses now ain't that cereal but hey you never know i am just seeing all y'all comments thank you so much for going over there and subscribing and liking y'all appreciate it okay she's ready hold on y'all hurry up my book says my comment 
She said sorry, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I did actually because I'm still, I just have um I have one that I'm working on for someone else. And it's like the, the women's empowerment brunch was today. And I just didn't go because I was just tired. But um the color for today was yellow. So I started my shirt yesterday, but I haven't finished it. But I am doing video on it. So y'all see that on creating with up. Um, so y'all can see how I did that video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, and I'm not even, I'm still learning, y'all. Big Roots to show, show that the, okay. Her vinyl is the way, I know. And I got some, um, cause Michael's had it on sale. Um, you get 36 inches for, it was like $9. So I just got some black and um, I got some white. So I'm gonna be playing with that today. And I'm going to get into these markers. Okay, let's get back to the pads because y'all know I be getting off track. I be getting off track. Um, Hold on. Let me put that down so I can just see y'all over here. Focus over here. Okay, so I'm going to take these off. Let me let y'all see what I'm doing. And I need y'all to tell me where I can... I need y'all to tell me what kind of camera I should get because this webcam is not doing me justice no more. So I'm taking these off. Okay, but yeah, those printers over there, y'all. I gotta figure out what's going on. I did think I seen like a post where somebody's saying something's going on with the Wi-Fi. So I hope it ain't that one because that printer ain't even that. Oh, and y'all, I have noticed that Epson been having those uh, ET fifteen thousands on sale for four ninety nine. Like at Staples, they've been running for four ninety nine for a minute. Okay, so this one is good. Y'all see that? It's good and bonded and dry. So I am going to tear off the first sheet. Um, let me make sure that corner. I'm going to go back over it once I use the puncher. And then this is the one that I still need to trim at the bottom. Down here because of that piece of card. Um, actually, once I punch that, it should be okay. Okay, let's punch it. So this is, like I said, my paper corner machine. Now, let me tell you all about this. Bever makes good products. I need to put my glasses on. Um, but like, and it's you, they're affordable products, good products, and I'm not an affiliate. But what I've learned with their stuff is when you get it, you have to do some adjustments in order to get it to be the way you want it to be. So with this, I had to, it took me probably about 30 minutes to adjust it um, the way. And I should have done an unboxing, but y'all, I, I struggle with all that. I, it, I feel like the only way I can, I feel like it's better for me to go live. Let me just say that. But yeah, the unboxing and stuff, I struggle with all that. <laughs> I need cameras rolling 24 seven. So all you do is put it in there and you gotta, I'm, I think I'm gonna build like a stand for this because all oh, that little screw is coming out. Oh no, it's not. Um, You gotta hold the back down, but you don't wanna pinch yourself. So hold it down punch put it up against the things punch make sure when you hold it back here you don't you hold your fingers down because you don't want to pinch your fingers that's hurt that hurts if you ever had your finger pinch it hurts punch and then punch so now oh crap don't tear up nothing when you're punching like me so now y'all see the corners around it. And I think that just makes it look more polished, right? Look at that. That is so cute. Okay, I get excited. I'm sorry. So then I'm just going to tear off this top sheet. It's still a little wet, so I'm being a little gentle. But then what I'm going to do is go back in and... I just like to go where I punch the corners and just put a little glue, dang, a little glue right there to hold it. But you don't want to put too much because you still want them to be able to, um, you know, tear them off. Put a little glue. Dang, I can't even see. Okay. Yeah, this ain't. I need a production crew. Anybody uh, need a job? I, I don't have no money to pay you. 
I'm poor. But if you want to do it out the kindness of your heart, <laughs> if you need to build a, a resume, I need a production crew. Okay. So there we have it. And then it's still a little wet, so I'm not going to flip it too much, but just go through and flip it to make sure everything is bonded. And there you have it. Now, I haven't found a, um, I haven't found a, uh, what are those sheets called? A clear covering sheet where I can just slide them in and fold it down. I've been making my own with some sheets that I got uh, that were misprint, that were the wrong size for something else I need them for. So I've just been cutting them down because, you know, we crafters don't throw away nothing. But that is my keyboard notepad, y'all. And now that I'm looking at it, I just noticed something. I need to move this over. But you know what? I ain't going to tell nobody. And y'all better not either. <laughs> but it's off. I just realized that this side has more room than this side. But y'all better not tell nobody. I'm going to come and find you if you do. I'm coming to find you. So thank you so much. Hey, Solo Bolo. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Great instruction. We don't want our fingers hurt. Okay. I'm telling you, listen. So I used to work on cars, right? At Walmart, I used to do oil changes, tire changes, whatever they need us to do, wiper blades. And I love working on cars. So what I can do now is I can do, I can do spark plugs well, on my car. I can do spark plugs and wires, brakes, um, oil changes, tune-ups. So I have a, a Buick Rendezvous 2006, right? So the plugs on that, my husband, he never, uh-oh, we keep having power glitches. Um, the plugs on that, my husband, he never wanted to do the, um, the, the, the wire, so I did it. So it's six, six plugs on there. It's three in the back of the motor and the other three on top. Now, I don't know what idiot decided to put the other three in the back of the motor, but if you ever have to do spark plugs on a rendezvous, I'm going to tell you what you need. You're going to need you a five. A five, uh, is it five eighths? I don't know. I think it's five eighths millimeter socket, the long one. You're going to need some bubble gum, a magnet, a mirror, and you need to wear long sleeves because the back wall is fiberglass. And if it gets in your skin, it don't feel good. But yeah, five inch socket or spark plug socket, but you got to take the rubber piece off because that don't work for those spark plugs. That's what the bubble gum is for. You're going to chew the bubble gum, get all the sugar out, right? You know, when it gets dry and thick. Then you're going to stick the bubble gum in the socket. Then, wait, let me reverse. First, you're going to unscrew the socket, right? It's not going to pull out with that rubber piece. Leave the rubber piece in there, unscrew the socket. When you get it loose, you're going to take the socket off, take the rubber piece off, put the bubble gum in there, and then put it in there and pull it out. The bubble gum is going to lock onto the socket and pull it out, okay? Then you're going to need a mirror to see what you're doing. Because if you drop it down in there, it's like this little pocket. And if you drop it down in there, it's hell to get it out if you ain't got no mirror. And then you want to make sure you're wearing long sleeves and gloves because the back wall is fiberglass. So, yeah. <laughs> Five eights. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, he hated doing that. Once you do all, once you get, I will always start with the three plugs in the back first because once you get them done, everything else is easy. Um, oh, you also want to mark your screws on everything that you take off, like the alternator, because you got to take the alternator off. Um, you want to mark all of that stuff with something. I use like some tire marking stuff. So you want to mark that. But yeah, I like working on cars. But anyway, I was working on the car one day and I cut off in the door this whole tip part on this side, all of that fatty meat right there got decapitated in the door of a car and it did not feel good i was in so much pain and i was crying and i was not happy but yeah i decapitated the tip of my thumb working on the cars at walmart but i still like the job i still would do it if i could but i can't right now so but yeah okay so we're gonna work on this one this is the one that had all the extra glue on it 
And this is the one I had to go back and re-glue. Oh, let me show y'all what I'm doing. Ugh. Okay. We're taking these off. And y'all, this is what I was talking about. So sometimes when that extra glue gets on there, um, it'll tear it up and it'll stick to it. So that's why you want to always make you have make sure you have the extra sheets. And then another way that you can tell that you have a good bond is when it has like a rubbery feeling to it. That's a good bond. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually I'm going to punch it first. I'm going to punch it around the corners. Make sure I get it in there. Yeah, I love rounding corners. Like if somebody wanted to pay me to just round their corners all day, I would do it. I wouldn't do it for free. Don't love it that much. But I would definitely do it if they paid me. And it got to be worth the pay too. Like a lot of pay. I wonder if they have like, I'm quite sure they do have like industrial, industrial type corner rounds. Okay. So we rounded the corners. Then I'm just going to peel this top sheet off. And again, this is 28 pound paper, so it's really thick. Not the thickest, but you can tell the difference between it and regular printer paper. And there you have it. And this one is dry, so we can flip. So yeah, I designed them in Canva. And y'all better not tell nobody about that. I might just cut that off if it bothers me. I might stick that back through my um I might stick that back through my my guillotine over there and just cut a part of that off and then reround the corners. But I don't know. I'm gonna sell it like it is. My brand is take it how it is. If you don't like it, don't buy it. <laughs> so y'all tell me what y'all think. And great instructions. Let me see. Great instructions. Don't hurt. Yes, don't hurt your finger. Don't decapitate it either in the car door. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Just connected you two from my thank you. I need my brace done. Say, okay, I got you. I wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait. Question. Is it a Buick rendezvous? Because <laughs> if it ain't, I don't got you. But my son do. <laughs> I'll get my son on it. I'll get my son on it. Listen, he got you. Now, I can only do them on the view of Rendezvous. I mean, it was another car I could do them on, but I forget what it was. But I got you on oil changes all day long. Even the Honda Element. The Honda Element is the worst oil change. I'm going to tell y'all, the Honda Element is the worst oil change and then the is it the volvo the volvo tires i hate doing because the lug nuts come off i hate tires any tires where the lug nuts come off like i'm not the nuts the studs where the studs come out i hate those because you have to well i have to other people might not have to do that but big girl action we have to sit down on the floor lift the tire up with our legs while we're trying to put that one stud in to hold the tire onto the car and then tighten it down so i don't like doing tires on bobos i know it's bobos and i think it's another car where the whole entire stud come out i hate those but all the other ones i got you oil changes tire. i might start a little shop just oil changes and tires that's it <laughs> multiple streams of income <laughs> let's see Five eighths inch, yep. Checking the in in uh, joining the business channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Seven five five. Hey, Tug, I was just thinking about you. Hey y'all. Hey T. How are you? We just got through making a. Uh, so I'm streaming from my um business channel for Eden Co Stationery, and I just got through making a note. That's a little bug. A note tablet. Um. Well, it's called a keyboard pad. So this is how it works. I'm about to show you. Get all this stuff out of the way. So basically, it's a pad, a notepad, for you to stick down in front of your keyboard. And it's pretty. You know, it's pretty. And then um, you like might have your little pretty pen. Turn on your little pretty pen to light up. And so while you type it, 
right here. So while you typing, you can make your little nose. Be like, okay, he wants 10 t-shirts today. Okay. Da -da -da -da, 10 t-shirts. I got you. What color? Okay, he wants reds. You see what I'm saying? So oh, now I just had another idea. Maybe I should make this into an order form. So when you are, I'm about to do that. I'm about to make an order form just like this. So when you are taking notes from your customers, see, most of mine are done through Facebook um, or Google Voice, which I'm always emailing. Like, I don't talk to my customers up front. I always talk to them through the computer. But it would be nice to have an order form that I could just write it in while I'm talking and typing. So, and we're going we gonna to bring that to life. Y'all can find that in Enico too, so. Everybody's saying hey to Haiti. So yeah, y'all. Now I want to do some magnets. But I see I already been on here for uh hold on for um an hour. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take me a little break, and then I'm gonna come back probably in about 20 minutes on creating with Tuck because I got these magnets and I seen this girl, I forget her name. I have to go back and look so I can tell her. But anyway, these, oh gosh, oh, that's a strong smell. Maybe it'll fade away. But these are magnetic sheets, y'all. And I'm going to print on them. And she had did a, oh, I got to go find that video. I hope I saved it. But she had did a graduation magnet. And y'all, that's a money maker right there. Print and cut it. And I mean, they are really thin. They're probably um, about the thickness of maybe 80 or 100 pound cardstock. They are really thin. Look how thin they are. So you can definitely um, cut them on your cricket or your cameo and so what i'm gonna do is probably take a little break grab me something to eat and then come back on creating with tuck and we're gonna get into these magnets because this is stuff that i want to do i'm trying to get back into doing stuff that i want to do and not just be crapped and just for somebody else i mean i do enjoy getting paid for it but i still want to be able to do it because i love it you know what i mean if that makes sense so Oh, before we go, though, I do want to show y'all my website. So I decided to, as y'all know, I love Square, um, but I had took my website to Wix because Wix gives you so much more, um, let me share my screen, so much more design options than Square does. But what I'm learning since I'm learning about myself, that's too distracting for me. <laughs> what is your business channel oh oh let me drop that hold on hold up wait okay so this is my business channel it's ena cohen company and let me drop it copy right there hey just gifted how are you yep there you go right there so that's um over on youtube I haven't set up fully Instagram and all that stuff yet. I'm still trying to, it's a lot, y'all. <laughs> it's a lot. Y'all, let me talk, let me talk about my bangs real quick. I'm trying to find something to they growing. My hair is growing. And I, I want to cut it, but y'all, look at my bangs. They just they getting longer and longer and longer. But like right now, I'm sweating and they starting to poof out. So I'm trying to find something that when I sweat, my hair don't poof out because it sucks because I like my bangs. I'm going to have to go back to my ponytail with my, my braiding hair and just make my bangs with that because I ain't got to worry about it sweating. But yeah. Okay. Now, so I wanted to show y'all my website real quick. Maybe y'all can give me some input, but I left um, Wix because um, I left Wix because for one, two channels on Wix is expensive. Two websites, I mean, on Wix is expensive. So I'm keeping my business separated. So Enico has its own website and Distinct Inc. has its own website. 
And so here's my Distinct Ink website. And I'm, I got them through Square. But I, I, what I learned about myself is that having all those options was team too much for me because it didn't do nothing but keep me distracted, undecided, and it enabled my procrastination. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, but yeah, here's the list. So I'm working right now currently on... Oh, and I got one more thing to ask y'all too while y'all here. I'm working currently on what I'm going to put right here. My goal is to have this all done before Friday. Um, but so on my my Distinct Ink channel, it's just nothing but customization. So it's not really going to be any like um, my Distinct Ink website. It's not going to really be any like things that you buy, but I'm trying to focus just on the custom customization aspect of it. Hold on. Son, are you trying to come downstairs? Huh? Can you hurry up? Because I'm streaming. And then I have some people on here that need their breaks done. And they want the family discount. So what, what can you do for them? Don't be rolling your eyes at me. He's rolling his eyes at me, y'all. Roo, roo. I'm going to get you hooked up. Don't worry about it. He got you. At least he can do your breaks. I only carried it for nine months. He, he owes me that. I'm going to hook you up real, real. You got, I'm going to give you the hook up. Hold on. Hurry up. I'll let them back in. Can you hurry? Okay, I'm about to open my camera. Are you done? Or are you ready to walk past? Hurry up. You slower than molasses. Are the girls ready to leave? They upstairs. They didn't talk to the mom. I ever said you're going to take them next Sunday. Okay. Now, so this is, I'm just focusing on customization. So y'all just see like your image here and all that stuff. Um, so the I'm doing it one page at a time. So this is my sticker page. And y'all might see some of y'all stickers in here. Um, but this is my sticker page. So I feel like this setup is the right setup for me. Because it's not team too much. So I'm doing like quantities of sticker sheets. And then you can just select one and it'll take you to how would you like to customize your stickers? And I'm just doing quantities, these quantities. But if you want to add additional ones, you can. I got I got it all set up for that. So let me go back to where were we at? Oh, let me go back to more and stickers. But yeah, this is my sticker sheet. So I'm gonna do all my pages like this. And then down at the bottom, I'll just have my you know examples of what i've done so like sweet thumbs i did his so yeah so this is my sticker sheet then i'm doing all the pages just like this so i did my buttons page and i got my little i think i did a video on this one this guy right here um i'm gonna take this off because i don't want no button up there so i don't know why that's still on there but i'm gonna take that off but i did the same thing i put um all my buttons down at the bottom this one is my most recent one that i did this one and this one this lady passed away but this one is my favorite one i don't know why i love this so much but yeah so i'm gonna have it like this down at the bottom so they can see my work tell me what y'all think about that if it's a good layout set out um but yeah i just feel like this is more easy for me to manage so i'm gonna do all the pages i haven't did promotional yet so this is actually published right now and it's only because i was working on it uh the other day but normally i don't publish them until i'm actually done but yeah so i'm gonna do all my pages like that then for the e nicole one i'm gonna show y'all uh let me go here and now this one is not published but I can still show y'all. I'm about to go get checked for this disease called surgeon's disease. I think it may, may be something that I have because I know when I talk, my mouth go dry and my eyes go dry at night. And the, the chick lady, doctor lady said something about me having some kind of immune disease. I think it's like an immune disease or whatever. I don't know what it is, but 
it needs to stop because I got stuff to do. I don't got time for all that. Okay, so online, bam. And y'all do know Square does give y'all a free. Now, I am an affiliate with Square. I don't really be pushing it like that. But I just be telling people the information. They do give y'all a free website. The only thing is, is to keep it free, you um, won't be able to have, like, your domain name. Like, enicole.com, it would be enicole at squaresite.com or something like that. But, um, so, this is my enicole, and I'm still working on it. And y'all can tell me what y'all think. I like that. That's nice. Thank you. Just just to get, just gifted. Thank you so much. Oh, can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. Okay. Why is this one? Let me remove this one. Okay. So I did this in Canva, this part right here. Let me go to preview. I did all that in Canva. I think that is so cool. And I put a stationary-ish company because I'm going to be having more things but other than stationary. But this is my front page. And I kind of have it set up like this. I'm not stuck on this, though. I feel like I'm going to add stick my stickers. Um, I want to do some tumblers and mugs, little cutesy stuff like that. Um, but I'm not stuck on that. But this is what I came up with so far. And then I don't think I have anything. I have my notes page, if I'm not mistaken. But it's just giving you... Um, just a brief description. This ain't acting right. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, weekly plans. Just a brief description of, I don't know why it's not popping up. I may have deleted it. I don't know. Cause I was working on this the other day too, but this is what I'm trying to do. So all these, I need to fix this image. I see cause it's cut off, but all of these images I did in, I did in Canva. So it's actually the actual layout of it's the actual layout in Canva. But what I did was I took it and put a backdrop, uh, not a backdrop, a drop shadow on it to give it like a real looking effect. And I was like, I seen somebody on on the this girl that I follow, she did it on her website, and I was like, how is she doing her images? And y'all know me, I be thinking like. I try to look at stuff like the background of stuff. I start with the background of it and try to break it down. So I looked at her image and I was like, oh, I see a drop shadow. Bet. Let's put a drop shadow. Hold on, let me show you. It's like, oh, I see a drop shadow. Okay, I'm going to do a drop shadow. And I was like, surely she's not photographing all these um, planners. She does planners like bind it with the coils. And I'm like, surely she's not photographing all these planners, like sitting there having someone sit there and do that. And I figured out she wasn't. She was just making mock-ups, but it was just with the layouts. So I was like, say less. I'm about to do that. So I went in there, did the my, um, the drop shadow. I did the layout. And then this over here, this area with the words, chat GPT. Y'all, it's so much. <laughs> like now I don't, I don't have a problem with doing the websites now because there's so much extra help out there. But yep, I did all this in Canva. So... I like it. That's nice. Hey, just gifted. Hey, Tamika. So that's what I did, y'all. So I'm working on it. I'm going to add some accessories and then I'm going to do my brain dump pads. Another thing I found myself doing, I was trying to do team too much. So I've been um, reading this, um, well, listening to this podcast about creativity and with God and all that kind of stuff. So I'm slowing it down. I'm not doing so much. So I won't have that much on my website. I plan to launch on the 25th of May. I'm also going to be doing a pop-up shop, so I'm going to go live that day so y'all can watch and see. But um, I won't probably have that much on the websites, but gradually I'm going to be adding more and more and more. So, yeah. Okay, the last thing I want to get y'all opinion on, and I don't know if I could play it, but I'm trying to – don't laugh at me either. So I like making little commercials. And I'm working on a commercial, which I need to get it done as soon as possible because of the season that's coming up. Where is it at? Okay, it's right here. So I wonder if I play this, if I play this, will y'all be able to hear it? Y'all may want to turn y'all TVs down or however y'all listening down because I don't know how loud, how loud it's going to be on y'all end. But I'm just trying to bring more attention to my business. So I do like these little commercials. I call them commercials, not commercials, but commercials. Um, but I just seen this big old figure walking past. I had to look, y'all. 
Um, I do like these little Marshalls. So this is my Marshall. And I'm going to turn it. Okay, my sound is already down. So I'm going to play it. And y'all let me know if what y'all think about it so far is not finished. But let me know what y'all think about it. As soon as I can figure out how to make it big. Um, I guess it is big. Let me know what y'all think about it so far. Um, y'all can give me a happy face or a sad face. I don't care. A thumbs up, a thumbs down. But, you know, keep in mind I'm an artist. <laughs> and I'm sensitive about myself. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got so far. So, okay, let me give y'all a backstory on this. So, again, I look at stuff, like I said, from the background on front. So, what I had did was I Googled um, Target commercials, right? I Googled, like, a Target commercial spot, and I just, I wish I could find it. Let me see if I can find it. I, I don't want to do that because I don't want to get copyright. But anyway, I Google a Target commercial um, spot, right? And so it showed me this like 20 second, 30 second Target commercial spot. And then what I started doing was breaking down the elements of the video, which I'm going to do a video on that too. I just got to find a video. What I probably do is put a link. I'll probably put a link of the video that we're going to break down in the chat that way. Can't nobody say, oh, she's copywriting. I'm, I don't want nobody to do that. I'll put a link of the video so everybody can go look at the video first. And then we come back over here to Creating with Tuck. And then we're going to break it down just like I do the flyers. Because I feel like we should be able to make our own commercials with all this technology that we have. Now, starting out, they may not be perfect. But I feel like if we continue to work towards it, we can fine tune it. But anyway, so this is my commercial. And let me know what y'all think. I want honest feedback. And if y'all have any ideas, I'm not done. So when it gets to after the graduation part of it, it's not done. It's not completed. Um, but the following part is supposed to be for family reunions and family summer activities. So let's see what we got so far. Okay, I'm going to play it. And I'm I don't know if y'all can hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Can y'all hear it? Can y'all hear me? I don't even know if y'all can hear me. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. <laughs> I need somebody to let me know if y'all can hear it. Oh, you can't hear it. Son of a chicken. Uh, okay, so let me turn up my... Okay. Maybe that's why. It's muffled. Okay. I'm going to play it again, mm -hmm. and let me see. Let me know if y'all can hear it now, because I got my speaker turned up, so y'all may be able to hear it. Okay, let me start it over. Okay. Yeah, hear me now. Well, I don't know what to do then. I'll probably just let me, I'll probably just finish it and then before I publish it i'll post it how am i gonna do that i don't even know how i'm gonna do that um i don't know how i'm gonna do that i'll figure it out but i'll probably post it and publish it some kind of way so y'all can see it first before i release it <laughs> but i was just trying to put together like all the seasons coming up we got graduation prom i'm not doing prom i really don't do prom stuff anyway but we got, uh, so prom is going to be first, then graduation, then open houses, and then family reunions, barbecues, et cetera. So I was trying to put a spot on my business for the customization business to sing in um, to let people know, hey, this is what we, this is what's coming up. Like a reminder, these are the days coming up. 
and then this is what we can do for you so that's my purpose of it so i kind of looked at that target ad i noticed they had like this bright um cheerful colory background and then they had like this bright per per uh perky upbeat type tempo so i try to incorporate those things in this commercial sorry in this commercial so i will post it and y'all can tell me what y'all like i'll post it on youtube first before I post it anywhere else. So I'm gonna post it on Creating With Tut before I post it anywhere else. But y'all can tell me what y'all think. Um, but yeah, yeah, we should start doing commercials and stuff for our businesses and getting them out there on social media. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is we have completed these notepads, which they came out so good. So then I have to go in and make the other parts of it of them and print those off. I'll probably print those tonight. I did do one in the purple. I'm really not feeling it. My daughter says she liked it, but I did, did one with like all purple color to it. So we're going to cut that out later. I still have some more sheets to print to it. And then this one, we probably could have did this one. Um, this one I already have some of. This was the very first one that I did. So I'm probably going to cut these down. I may do those later on tonight. But for now, I'm probably going to take me a break. Figure out what these children are going to eat and what I'm going to eat. I really don't want to eat anything. I mean, cook anything. I really want some pizza, but that's how we eat pizza. Uh, and then I'll probably come back. What time should I come back? I'm going to just go live so y'all just be watching. Turn on them notification bells because I don't know. I don't want to have y'all waiting because something might happen. But um, I'm going to just go live. Turn on your notification bells if you want to watch and come and kick with me. I'm going to be making those magnets. And it was something else I wanted to do. What was it? The magnet. Oh, and I want to design some stickers because I need to start designing stickers for Ina Cole. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And I still wanted to do like a um, a craft room tour to talk about my new. Well, I guess I pretty much showed y'all everything, though, because it was really just the um, heat press. The I showed y'all the printers. I showed y'all the cutter. And I, sh I showed y'all everything. Oh, I didn't show y'all my cinch. So I won a thermal cinch on uh crafts of a different shades facebook page i don't know if y'all know alicia desiree but she is the owner or the yeah the owner of crafts of a different shade on facebook i won the thermal cinch from her um my comment got chosen so i wanted to play around with that too so i'm gonna go you get stick <laughs> oh so just get it okay so it wasn't the pizza so what Dog. So what happened was I got a salve, I, keep, I don't know how to say good, salivary gland infection. I don't know where it came from, but I have, um, I think I have a lymph node issue anyway, because my, so on my lungs, it's a, a enlarged lymph node on my lungs. And then these right here, they stay swollen. And they, since I've been at the hospital, they, they haven't been as bad. I think that's because of all the antibiotics. But these ones right here, they stay swollen. Like, when, you know, when somebody come up to you and they hug you, I hate that. I don't hate the fact that they want to hug me. And I don't hate the fact of the idea of hugging. But it's just that when they squeeze their face up against my face, it hurts so bad. And then it sets like a whole thing off. Sometimes when I'm talking, it just starts hurting. So... But it wasn't the pizza. It was actually a salivary, a salivary, however you say it, infection. And so it was in this thing, the little thing up under your tongue, it's called the Wharton's duck, that was infected. And it swelled up and my tongue was sitting on top of it. And it was, it was a lot, it exploded, it was crazy. But it had an infection in that and it caused my gums, my teeth, my jaw, my whole body, it just was so much pain. And they have ended up keeping me in the hospital because all of that caused my oxygen to go down. Like it was staying in the 70s. So yeah, that's what that was. So not the pizza. So I can still eat pizza. Ha ha ha. 
But we probably won't have pizza. I don't know what we're going to get. I just don't want to cook. I've been cooking for the last three days. I think that's enough. They might be eating cereal. I'm not one of the moms that cook like that. They need to be cooking anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it wasn't the pizza. It was just, I don't know where the infection came from. I don't know. I just know I don't want nobody to ever have to feel that way because the pain was so unbearable. I felt like I just needed to take a brick and just, yeah, yeah, nobody should feel that way. But anyway, I'm going to come back. I'm going to figure out what we're going to eat. It's 155. I'm going to come back and I'm going to have everything set up um, later on to do. I definitely really, really, really want to test those magnets out. I may try it with one of my stickers too. One of my sticker designs. So, yeah. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all tuning in to my channel. I'm going to drop the link one more time for E. Nicole. Let me go back and get it. And if y'all can go over there and subscribe to that channel, I'll be talking about my um my businesses over there. It's gonna be more focused on my businesses and stuff and business tips and stuff like that. So I appreciate y'all. Um oh I didn't mean to view it. I appreciate y'all coming in and chilling with your girl. And y'all, I think it's gonna be easier for me to just go live. I, I suck it recordings and all that i think it's just easier for me to go live because i can go live anytime and then not be playing but like when you're trying to do a recording and do editing you gotta it's like a team too much for me it's a whole production thing so i think i'm just gonna go live hopefully my channel will still build i might drop some shorts but mostly i'll be going live so i talk to y'all later and y'all won't be seeing my Creating with Tuck outro. Y'all gonna see my Ina Co outro. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Stay prayed up. And uh, yeah, y'all know how I do it. I'm gonna drop this uh, Ina Co outro that I made myself in Canva. Bye.